You've heard me bragging. Many times. Yes. Love Pasta is open in Summit Township, and today we have the brilliant minds behind it, Ridge and Mariel Fru. Welcome. Hey, thank how's you. It going? Hello. Congrats. I just want to say thank you for what you are doing. Tell our viewers what This is, is by the way, the, the common reaction to the folks that eat at your restaurant. Isn't so it that true? Is, it is. That's a good yeah. thing. Yeah, we'll, take, we'll take it. Yeah. So tell our viewers that don't already know, because they must live under a rock, what Love Pasta is. So Love Pasta is our vision of, of great hospitality, great food, made from scratch. Um, it just kind of embodies, you know, everything that we always wanted to do. We've worked in restaurants forever and we just wanted to do something that was really special to us and that we could really execute on a scale that we felt was manageable and bring something special to the community. Mm -hmm. So we're doing from scratch yeah. pastas. We're extruding them in-house daily um, from scratch sauces, dressings, all of it. So. It's incredible. I, I've had, I think, four or five things on the menu. Everything is fantastic. So much better than like maybe a big box store. Um, Ridge, you shared a little bit with me <laughs> on what goes into your marinara. Tell our Yeah, viewers. I mean, it's, it's literally, you got San Marzano tomatoes, which are some of the best tomatoes you can get. We get those from overseas. Um, the process is a cook down that takes usually an hour, hour and a half just to get the sauce. So um, when you're getting that in the plate, it's usually made within five to six mm -hmm. hours from, from process to plate, and you're good to go, you know? Can we go back mm. to that meatball? <laughs> Same with the meatballs. Mm. Um, Unfreaking believable. <laughs> the meatball. It's 50 so 50-50, we're, we're shredding basically uh, uh, Pecorino Romano and uh, Parmesan Reggio off the wheel. Not, That's awesome. Not bagged. Yeah. So, like I said, same thing. All from process to plate, that's another two hour process just on the meatball. Talk about the, uh, you know, the work that went into kind of renovating the space too. I mean, yeah. this is a former Subway, a Subway. Subway restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, we got really lucky with the space. You know, there were, it's a perfect size for us and we love the location and we were like, how can we make this into our vision? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so we, it was truly a family affair. My mom and stepdad helped us like do all the wallpaper, build the bar. Um, you know, we kind of sourced our tables from different places. The antique plates on the walls, we got at garage sales and antique stores. And, you know, it was just really kind of pieced together from our you know, from it, it looks amazing, really. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. It's awesome. And, uh, of course, I know you have a uh, cocktail-making background, so folks can uh, Both, get some yeah, good that's, cocktails, that's right? That's our wheelhouse, yeah. yeah. And that's kind of what we want to focus on. Um, we really want to drive um, the craft aspect, but in an approachable place where people aren't feeling like they're going to get robbed. It's it's good money. It's good product. We're making great, so great mm -hmm. juices. We're making great syrups. And just bringing kind of like an Italian flair to what we're doing with the food. Mm -hmm. And it, it places well. It's the same with our, our wine list. Yeah. I mean, we had a great person uh, from uh, Ann Arbor put together our wine list, and it's, mm -hmm. it's really worked well. I mean, our wine sales are through the roof. Mm -hmm. So you guys have created an experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when we take our hard-earned money to go out to eat, we really want a time out and yeah. just a wonderful experience. Talk a little bit about your background and the team that you've built based on that that just gives us a really an elevated experience. Yeah, so our background, we've worked in hospitality our entire careers. Um, we came from Las Vegas to Jackson. You know, we've got some family here, and we really wanted to be in this community and really love so many things about Jackson. Um, after working on the Strip for a long time, we have a lot of experience in, you know, these kind of higher and fine dining restaurants, mm -hmm. higher end, like, chef experiences. And hospitality is our wheelhouse. Um, we love creating experiences for people. Um, I guess just you know, making it more than just a dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're celebrating something, if you're, you know, there to, to have something special, we really want to make you feel at home and make that, that your experience. Our staff is fantastic. It's people we've kind of met along the way, um, you know, that we've worked with in other places um, that we just had a connection mm -hmm. with. And then some other people that kind of, you know, we didn't know before that we met and we're like, wow, you're a really good fit. Yeah. You seem like you really, you know, you get this. Mm -hmm. and so. What have you two learned about uh, about Jackson? I guess I would say in the in the few months you've been open. Um, I feel I think that uh, something new is very 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 welcome. Mm -hmm. um, I know that Summit hasn't had anything out there in a while. It's nice to be in that space. I think also explaining to people like it says love pasta, but literally there is a lot of love going into all this stuff that's mm -hmm. being put on a plate, and it's it might not be the norm you're used to. 
give it a chance. Mm -hmm. We'll make it work. Our staff is very accommodating and also come in our door because we want to prioritize you coming into our living room, sitting down at our mm -hmm. table and enjoying a meal. That's yeah. the basic for the love. And then tell us what you think. Yeah. You know, we're good with either way. We, we want people to see what it's like to try something that's literally from our hands to a plate and you're like, I'm not getting it out of a box. I'm not getting it out of a jar. It's literally made with blood, sweat, and tears in our staff. And love. All geared. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Our, our staff is geared to doing that from the front of the house to our kitchen crew. And you see mm -hmm. it all under, uh, unfold. Our, we have an open kitchen. That's unheard mm -hmm. of yep. in this area. It They're is. They're seeing yeah. everything go. And that's what we wanted. Yep. You can see the process. And it's pretty fun to watch. We have some really amazing people. Yeah. I know you guys have had out. some busy nights yeah. um, with some backups. <laughs> but typically, though, like I buzzed in for lunch. I had 30 minutes. Caprizi, iced tea, in and out, oh. 20 minutes. My belly was full and I was so mm -hmm. happy. Yeah. Um, so tell the, our viewers about your hours. Yes. I think they're fantastic. Yeah. So right now um, we're doing a lunch and a dinner service. Okay. Um, today we're not doing lunch. Uh, we're, we're exploring the option of maybe taking Monday lunch off mm -hmm. um, just to give us more time to prep all this sure. fantastic food, right? Um, but we're doing uh, dinner until 9 o'clock um, during the week on Friday and Saturday. We're open from 11 until 10. Yes. Yep. 10. And then mm -hmm. on Sunday from 4 to 8 for dinner service. And then lunch um, again Tuesday through Friday starting at 11 o'clock. Awesome. So yeah, you can definitely pop in. Lunches have been fantastic so yeah. far and, and dinners have been great. We've been really overwhelmed in like you, a very positive way. Do you take reservations or is it come as you are? It come. is come as you are. Yeah, well, we're doing walk-ins. Uh, first come, first serve. It's a small space so we want to make sure that uh, we have availability. It's just something we're trying to navigate. For sure. Along with the phone situation. We don't even have a phone right now. Mm -hmm. We're working on working at the end of the week and then hopefully move into some online ordering. Cool. Uh, and then from that, we'll have our grab and go case where you walk in, you can grab a half pound of pasta, full pound of pasta, a bottle of wine, one of our specialty cocktails, all batched, all ready to go. Come into the bar, ring it up, and you can go and make a nice meal for you and your loved one. Nice. It's night. great. That's yeah. kind of my neighborhood over there, and nice. it's nice yeah. to see, you know, just the last few years, some yeah. things changing, and I don't think that's going to slow down. We yeah. might need a roundabout over there at some I, point. There you go. Seriously. <laughs> that would help. Seriously, yeah, I've got to figure out something. We're, something. Already, we're already leasing out parking spaces next door. Yeah. So. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to hone this vision. I know it's four or five years in the making, yeah. um, and then bringing all of your experience here. We're so grateful that you've made this commitment to our community. Well, Thank you for thank having you for us. Having it's us. been awesome. The community has been such a big boost. So yeah, thank it's, you. it's been great. And again, congratulations. Welcome to Edition. And uh, it's the buzz around town. So <laughs> thank congratulations. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Owners of Love Pasta Ridge and Muriel Brew. Make sure you guys go check them out. More of the show after this break.